Anu. All right, Denise, thank you. Well, it's one of Metro Detroit's newest restaurants, Chef's Table 12 in Farmington Hills, and we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek of the menu this morning. Joining us, Executive Chef Travis Wainick and General Hello. Manager Thomas Cup. Good Thanks morning. for coming morning. in on this early Saturday morning, guys. Thanks for having us. All right, so Chef, what are you making for us right now? Uh, what we're making here is the shishito pepper appetizer. Okay. And describe the shishito pepper. What kind of intensity does it have? The shishito pepper is kind of like a cross between a bell pepper and a jalapeno. Oh, okay. uh, most of what you have is going to be very earthy, um, but every once in a while you're going to get one that's going to light you up. <laughs> okay, so be prepared for a potential surprise. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do? Uh, right now we just get the pan really hot mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just going to blister them in the pan. Okay, and what does that do? It pops the skin, mm -hmm. softens it, cooks the flesh through. And uh, I mean, just cooks the, the pepper throughout while we're building the dish. Okay, while well, you're getting that going, talk to us about uh, you just have really had a soft opening, sort of just starting to open the doors. Yes, absolutely. So we did a soft opening about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, we've been going uh, basically open the doors. We have a sign up front saying that we're open. Um, coming up forward on March 23rd, we have a, uh, a grand opening event uh, going on. We'll be doing uh, ribbon cutting from the city. Uh, the mayor's going to be out from, from Farmington Hills. Um, and we'll do a little uh, cocktail hour uh, beforehand. We'll, we'll do a toast, a glass of champagne, uh, and then we'll accept reservations. We'll push things back a little bit deeper into the evening um, just to, to kind of celebrate being that it is the grand opening. And this is a family-owned business here? Yes, yeah, so the proprietor is uh, Ophelia Goichai, her mm -hmm. son Alban, and then her late husband, um, Tony Goichai, who is uh, uh, a dynamic chef. Uh, he just passed away recently. From, um, from northern Michigan. They have several restaurants, their flagship uh, being Willow Tree in, in West Branch. Uh, this is their first project in the uh, Metro Detroit area. Tony didn't get to, didn't get to see uh, the, uh, the fruition, the totality of it, but uh, you know, it's, it's kind of his legacy at this point, and we're all excited you know, in honor of him to, to, to open the doors to do this grand opening, being that you know, it's, it's gonna be his flagship spot. Sure, so. very special indeed. So tell us about uh, where the peppers are now. Is this what you're looking for, kind of the, the blistered skin here? Yeah, we're looking to, to blister them all throughout. Um, and then what goes into it is we have, uh, this is uh, tomato fondue. Okay. Um, it's basically tomato, ginger, onions, a bunch of spices just cooked down. Um, and uh, Marcona almonds, we're gonna season it up. All right. And it's, uh, it, it's pretty simple but uh, the flavors are really, really bold and pronounced and um, just creates a really nice dish. You just kind of bite, bite into the peppers like that? Absolutely. What else is really on your menu here? What kind of vibe does it have, this menu? Um, the menu itself is very eclectic. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, I take a lot of influences from different cultures, different ingredients. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of Asian influence, Northern Africa, South America. Um, it, I just, I really don't like to follow rules. I just kind of That take, makes the eating adventure, yeah. you know, just that, an adventure, kind of a taste exactly. around the world. And you brought one of the entrees with you too. What's this? Uh, this is our lamb entree, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, lamb prepared two ways. It's char-grilled lamb chops, um, and then a uh, boneless lamb loin that's cooked sous vide with Tamarind, uh, port wine reduction, roasted fingerling potatoes, and tomato confit. Oh wow! Yeah, so, so the menu features um, when you have some some of your chop off classics. We have a New York strip, uh, we have a ribeye, we have a fillet. Um, some some high quality producers. Um, everything is, is done through fairway packing. Some of their dry aged cuts, so you can get your your kind of chop house classics. But again. He kind of brings different cultural takes to some chop house classics. So, so that's where you get the, the excitement from the menu. Wonderful. Yeah, Can absolutely. I try one of these peppers? Absolutely. Okay. We'll, we'll see how hot they go. But like you said, it's. Cross, <laughs> cross your fingers, yeah. Between bell pepper and jalapeno <laughs> pepper. Right. Hopefully, I can handle that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, know it's, I know it's hot, so I have to cool down a quick second. But <laughs> tell us again about the, the opening day and the location. So, so, March 23rd is a grand opening. We're going to be doing ribbon cutting at 4 30. Um, then we'll have a tray pass appetizer, kind of cocktail hour um, there in our lounge. And then reservations will happen that uh, going on into the evening. We'll be doing some features for that evening. We'll bring in some special wines, some special entrees and things uh, of that nature just to celebrate the, the weekend, to commemorate, uh, and, and again, in, in honor of Tony and, and everything, we're, we're excited to, to get going and, and really start seeing rolling. So. Guys, thank you yeah. for coming in. Absolutely. And Thanks this for is having us. delicious. Awesome. Delicious. Thank you. thank you. We'll be right back. Great.